on fire as well. It is amazing to me how after the first car was on fire, there are still people hanging around, and now a second car is on fire, and you can see uh, folks dancing around, almost celebrating uh, beside it. I to me, you'd want to be a f as far away from a burning car as you possibly could. While people are standing around there trying to get pictures, you see people throwing in uh, jerseys and other sorts of, uh, whether it's flags or other material, blankets, uh, things that are on fire. It's hard to really get your head around it. You can see stuff going through the air. More flames. We are going to keep an eye on it, of course. As we said, you know what, let's go right down the street back to Natalie, get for a bird's eye view. Natalie? If you look, it's a shot of a porta potty on fire. Take a look. This is just beside the CBC. The police just put out a fire there. If you pan back to me, I do have an eyewitness who came down here for a good time to watch the Canucks win, who was there very close when that fire, when all this uh, shenanigans started. As you see behind me, the new fire is just behind me of a second car. But joining me, I've got Eric O'Dell. Eric, join me here. What did you see and what did you think? Well, when I, I arrived on the, on the street on that area, first of all, they were pushing over the, the urinals, and I uh, managed to prevent a couple of those, and then uh, I heard something down the street a little bit. Oh, hold on, we just heard a shot, no, and let's just back up, yeah. There is an explosion, and we have a fan very, very close on, on who's now climbed the light standard. This car, this fire, the car that they said has exploded. This is the second car that has been set on fire and exploded. And I'm standing by with Eric O'Dell, who witnessed the first one. What do you think of what you're seeing unfolding on the streets of Vancouver tonight? I'm extremely unhappy with what's going on. The uh, city of Vancouver is better than this, and there are a few troublemakers, and unfortunately the crowd follows. It's a crowd mentality, and they've just gone for it. And it's most, most disappointing, and I hope they get control of it quickly. You know what's interesting? I've covered every single game in the series, and every time the Canucks lose, it's shocking to see how fast this city empties. People go home and they drown in their sores. Tonight, people are hanging around and expressing their frustration like this. So let's get back to what you've seen. What are you here? We heard someone's fallen off the viaduct. We also have heard about broken glass. Why do you think this is happening, Eric? I, I guess probably there was frustration that the game went as badly as it did, uh, and frustration that uh, we lost, obviously. Uh, and there were some that were down just looking for trouble, and those are the ones that started pushing over the, the urinals at the first time, and away they went from there. Eric O'Dell, thank you so much. I hope you and many others get home safe tonight. Thanks thank so you. much. And I am really close. I can see this fire. It, it must have been the gas tank, but boy, is it burning. And here we see people fueling it with anything they can find to, to throw on top of this fire. And not far away, oh, it's a carpet. Sorry, if I look closer, um, I don't even know where they're getting that carpet. It's probably ours here at the CBC from our fan zone. But uh, if you look, um, this is getting bigger, and people are really quite close. I don't understand why people aren't moving further away. Um, but I guess the Vancouver police have a strategy. They're certainly here in force. And we've also heard that there's 90 RCMP officers on standby. Well, you can bet your bottom dollar they've been called in now to help move this crowd and get these fires out. But there was a fire truck close by uh, about 20 minutes ago. And we think just south of this, there is a fire truck. Um, but again, Tony, we're trying to get more information on the person injured on the Georgia Viaduct. We'll throw it back to you, Tony. Emily, thanks very much. I think you're right about those carpets. They were laid down in the fan zone to divide the crowd so people had a central area where they could move down toward the screen or to other streets and other points of uh, points of view. So that's what they were, and obviously they've been taken up from the street and then thrown on that fly fire. And it's getting a little dangerous out there. I think people are getting a little too close with all this uh, fueling of the flames and the plumes of black smoke are rising right over the Canada Post Office. And it's, uh, as you say, we don't know when the police are going to move in, but I expect very shortly. We'll be back right after a break.